The theme of this year's MGBC conference is rebuilding, reimagining, and reinventing Southern California cities. So it's very exciting in 2015 as we build towards Green Build hosting in LA in 2016. Uh, the opportunity to focus on how can we re-envision our cities to make them better, more sustainable, more vibrant and resilient places where all of our families can thrive. This is a really exciting event because it brings together so many different perspectives from right down here in Southern California. And this conference, which you know started many years ago, is actually turning into something of a regional and even national and almost global conference with its reach. You have to come and learn about what people here, who are the experts, trying to think about this and plan 20, 30, 40 years ahead. What they are thinking about at the moment is probably way out beyond what even you think is right now the cutting edge of sustainability. a long time was associated with tree huggers and tie-dye and Birkenstocks, but I think it has gone mainstream. And I think specifically here in California, the drought has really caught people's attention. So people that normally wouldn't think about water conservation, even though it's part of sustainability, are really in tune to the issues and starting to pay attention to it and actually care about it and do something. MGBCE, why we're all here today, is the largest gathering of green building professionals in Southern California every year. And it's so exciting to see city government officials interacting with consultants and engineers talking to architects and contractors talking to owners. It's, uh, it's a really exciting uh, opportunity for folks from different disciplines to get together and talk about the most uh, pressing, relevant issues of our day today, such as net zero energy, net zero water, resiliency, uh, the drought issue in California, they're all things we're covering at MGBCE. And now people are coming from all over the state and even out of state to come and visit and see what we're talking about here as thought leaders in Los Angeles. Hold together individuals that are really trying to go out into their community and make a difference. And this is where you go and get these ideas like we can grow lemons and not use a lot of water or we can make tea in our own facility. So it's really a fantastic opportunity to network and share information. It brings together cities, private sector, advocates, the design community, the engineering community, um, to really have a, a conversation about the latest and greatest, but also how we can all work together. This is a place where solutions are emerging. Finding buildings as a nexus of people and energy and resources, and it's not just about thinking about the environmental systems, but the issues of social justice and equity have to be rolled in as well. And we are now creating tools to help people do that. Sustainability is essential uh, for our future. It's part of my life because I love my family and I really love my community. If you are building, living, breathing in Los Angeles or in the Southern California area, that you're thinking about sustainability. This is the nature of the industry and this is the direction it is going. And this is really, even if you don't inherently care about environmental issues, to not believe that you need to learn about green building is not going to be a sustainable path in the real estate industry. Planet Earth will go on forever. Um, it's us who we're putting at risk by um, damaging it. Environmentalism belongs to everybody. It doesn't belong to a segment or a group or a hippie or anything. It's, it's all of ours. And I think California as a whole is really conscious of where we're going to go into the future and what we're going to do. Mm -hmm.